Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a drugstore face primer review for you guys. But before I get into it, I post new beauty product reviews all the time. And if this is something that interests you, hit that subscribe button so you can be alerted when I post new content. Okay, so back to primers. So today I'll be reviewing five different drugstore primers. And down in the description box below, I'll have a list of all the products I mentioned here today, as well as a link for them in case you're interested. I'm gonna begin with the primer that I just did not like at all. And that is the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. So the packaging of this product is pretty much the only thing I liked about it. The packaging is really cute. It's absolutely adorable. Everything else was just a big old mess. So I have incredibly dry skin, even in the summer. So when I saw that e.l.f. sold a hydrating primer, I got really excited because I thought it could help me out with some of the dry patches. So the first thing that's wrong with this primer is the smell. It's incredibly unpleasant and offensive. It almost smells like burnt plastic is the only thing that I can compare it to. At first I thought I bought a rancid product, but after um, looking at further reviews online, the smell seems to be a pretty common complaint about this primer. Now, I'm not a person who is sensitive to smells or any sort of scents or perfumes, but this was incredibly unpleasant. It was just, it was completely unwearable for me. Yeah, this is my least favorite, and I will be decluttering this from my collection once this review is done. The second thing I disliked about this primer is the texture. It claims to be hydrating, but there's nothing really hydrating about this. It has a very greasy texture. It doesn't absorb into my skin at all. It almost felt like I rubbed cooking oil onto my skin. Um, it just sort of sat there when I applied it. So I've tried this with several different foundations and I've had the same result with all of them. Um, my face just looked oily and greasy and my foundation didn't look good at all. So based on the smell and the greasy texture and the crappy looking foundation, there is no way I can recommend this product to anyone. So the next primer I'm going to talk about is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer. This primer is okay, it's just, it didn't really do anything for me. It kind of applied on my face like a lotion. This one also has a very distinct smell to it. It almost smells like Elmer's glue. The smell didn't really bother me, but if you're sensitive to any sort of smells, this is probably a primer that you might want to avoid. The second thing that was wrong with it is it just didn't really feel like it did anything for me. I mean, it made my skin feel really soft, but it just felt like a really good moisture lotion on my skin. I didn't find that it made my foundation last any longer than when I didn't use a primer. So really what would be the point of using it if it's not gonna make my foundation last longer? Also, maybe because I have dry skin, this happened, but I found that sometimes when I applied my foundation, some of this would like pill up or peel off is the only way I can describe it. So I can't really say I would recommend this product to anyone either. Um, it didn't really do anything and there are better products out there. So my middle of the road primer, not the best, but definitely not the worst, is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer Longwear 12 Hour Power. That is one heck of a mouthful. Now this is definitely a primer where a little goes a long way. I did find it to be a little bit sticky when I first applied it, but after a few minutes, it completely dried to a matte finish and um, it has a very soft finish to it. I found that that sticky feeling completely went away. I think the key to making this one work is using only a tiny amount. I think. And I'm guilty of this too. Sometimes with primers, I think we think more is more when really we only need a tiny amount and we only need it in certain areas. So I didn't find this to be heavy on my skin and I didn't find it to be drying. I just didn't feel that this primer made my foundation last any longer. 
It claims to be a 12 hour long wear primer and I paired this up with a couple of my long wear foundations. I just, I just didn't see much of a difference with this as opposed to just wearing the foundation with a moisturizer. It's not bad. I mean, I liked how soft it made my skin feel when I used it. So this one isn't the worst primer that I've ever used, but um, it's just sort of meh, somewhere in the middle of the road. So my second from the top primer is from the CoverGirl True Blend line, and it is the CoverGirl True Blend Face Primer for dry skin. This is also available in a combo skin formula as well as an oily skin formula. I have it in the dry skin because I need as much hydration as I can possibly get for my skin. I really like this primer. Um, it's a cream base. It has that glue type texture most of these primers do but um, it dries very, very quickly on my skin and doesn't leave it feeling greasy. Um, although this has like that white glue type texture to it, it dries very quickly onto my skin. It doesn't have any sort of offensive smell. And I really like how my foundation looks with this primer um, without drying out my skin. So my number one face primer from the drugstore is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Skin Perfecting Primer. So again, this is that white lotiony Elmer's glue type formula but this one is really moisturizing on the skin and it leaves this really beautiful dewy finish. It just has this satiny look to it that doesn't look greasy if that makes sense. So it gives your skin this really beautiful satin look to it but it actually holds on to your foundation. If you have oily skin this might not be a good choice for you because it does give your skin a slightly dewy finish. But for myself, there's not anything overwhelmingly oily or greasy about this primer. It just gave my skin a really nice, healthy glow. My foundation lasted all day. Um, I didn't have any dryness or any flakiness with this primer. This definitely would be my number one go-to product if you have dry skin. So this is the end of my drugstore primer review video. All the products that I mentioned today will be listed in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button so I know. Consider subscribing if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!